Today we're at Twickenham, the home of rugby, for the stadium tour. First of all, I'm going to take you to the uh, Golden Lion Gate. I'll explain the significance of that to the stadium as we see it today. I'm then going to take you inside the stadium up to the third floor and we go into the Royal Box. And when we get to the Royal Box, I'll explain the, the um, development of the stadium from its conception. With these two what we call code stone lines. Now they were taken down and put into store by the Greater London Council. And in 1971 in our centenary, they took one out of store, gave it to us, and we shoved it up there and painted it gold. If I take you back just over 200 years, um, the schools, usually the private public schools as we call them, would have been playing games with what they called footy ball. Each school would have had different rules, different laws. And one of these games was being played at a school in the Midlands of England, and one of the boys picked the ball up in 1923, 1823, sorry, ran with it and invented rugby, because that was a rugby school, and the young lad was called William Webb Ellis. So they sent one of those fellows out, a fellow called Billy Williams, some money in his pocket and he found some land in Twickenham. It was a market garden and he bought it. It was 10 acres, or we have to call it four and a half hectares these days. And he bought it for £5,572. We opened the North Stand for the 1991 World Cup Finals. That was closely followed by the East Stand, which opened in 1994. The West Stand, where, where we are now, was in 1995. And it remained like that to the beginning of the 21st century when they decided to completely zero, the O as it were. So they cleared away this, this south stand, brought it down with the explosives one Sunday afternoon, the whole trickling one like that, cleared it away, completed the O, and that opened for business in 2006. The ball across the front of a set of rugby posts uh, to a young boy we can only assume is William Webb Ellis. Um, that was designed by somebody called Kenny Dalgleish. But not that Kenny Dalgleish, <laughs> different Kenny. <laughs> We're working the members bar. So who are the members? Committee or council, they're the members. They are elected by what we call our constituent bodies. So the constituent bodies are the counties, so Devon, Cornwall, Yorkshire, Lancashire, etc. Um, the military, which at the time in 1871 would have been the army and the navy, and then the Royal Air Force came on board in the 1920s when they were formed. And finally, the two universities of Oxford and Cambridge. So they were the original constituent bodies and they formed the Rugby Football Union. We've got about 150 hospitality suites around the stadium. They, they, uh, they differ in size from 10 up to about 25. Now, if you want to take one of these, you have to sign up for two years. Depending where in the stadium, you may be paying 5,000 pounds per person per annum. players in a rugby team in 1871. That changed fairly soon afterwards. I think it was a little bit, a bit crowded. 1914 at Stag Cologne, they could have won the game and with it they, they, um, uh, they won the Grand Slam. And of that team, six lost their lives during the First World War. And they've all had their, their red rose back to ones who, who lost their lives. So the reason we here has a close off Next, on to one of my favourite parts of any stadium tour, the tunnel area and walk out on the pitch. 
the teams will stop here. You see the lines is where the teams will stop. Any maskers to go out and play the uh, to, to sing the anthems of the world, they'll be lined up here. Okay, let's go. Reckoning was built in 1907 and staged its first England International in 1910. The current capacity of the stadium is 82,000 and is the fifth largest stadium in Europe. In there, they'll be hung two shirts, two pairs of shorts, and a pair of socks. Your name will obviously be on the back of the shirt. Underneath, we've got some names here. These are players who played in your position in the past. It's what they call connection. You've got connection with the, the players in the past. They pass the shirt over to you. You're just borrowing it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.